New for you tonight, a toy gun led to a scare at a school in Manchester. We've learned a student shot a classmate with what's known as a splat ball gun. And there is some concern that this may have been inspired by a twisted social media trend. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cologne is live at Illing Middle School with the warning for parents. Christian. Yeah, those students brought the gun into this middle school right behind us, and tonight police were telling us that these types of guns have become very popular on social media, especially on apps like TikTok, so they're urging people to not turn a good time into jail time. School leaders at Illing Middle School say two students are facing consequences for bringing and using a toy gun in school yesterday. I received an email in the afternoon stating that there was an incident in school. Um, a kid brought a splat gun to school and it was used in the classroom. A splat or splatter gun is a plastic toy that shoots out water or gel based beads known as Orbeez. Police say these projectiles come out at high speeds and are capable of causing severe injuries. In other states, it's part of a TikTok challenge where teens shoot people unexpectedly and post a video online. I think it's extremely scary. I think that I hope that parents are super involved and engaged with these types of things um, and to make sure that they understand how serious the ramifications are on bringing those types of things in any type of environment, especially a school. We are told a bead hit a student and the incident created a great deal of alarm. Their condition is unknown, but it's not the first time police hear of these guns. Back in September, a group of teens shot over 300 of these beads toward a crowd of thousands in East Haven. These suspects were charged with assault and reckless endangerment, among many other charges. One of the most concerning things is that they clearly do not have the judgment and foresight to see how their behaviors impact not just themselves, but the people around them. Dr. Laura Saunders says parents have to work together to keep up with social media trends, especially with dangerous online influences that produce even more anxiety in the school community. The more supervision and support you provide, um, it, there's less chance, not no chance, but less chance of incidents happening. And some parents we met tonight tell us that kids have been asking them to buy these types of guns that they have denied them as for the investigation. It's not clear if Manchester, if these Manchester kids will be getting charged when it comes to bringing the gun into the school. We did reach out to police about this investigation, and they say it's a very active one. In Manchester tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3, I News.